uh, predicting the Euros 2024. All right, Anish, who are All your right. four semi finalists? All right, my four semi finalists is Portugal, England, Germany, and France. Who are uh, they playing each other? Like, who's playing who? Uh, Portugal facing Germany and England facing France. Okay. In my semi finals, yeah. Okay. Who do you have as the two finalists here? We know one is Portugal <laughs> and in the second <laughs> semi final, I have England beating France. Oh, England. Do you think they cannot choke this one or like no, do you no, think no, Harry Kane will have, take that penalty? <laughs> they're going to do it. Bellingham is going to carry the team this day. Oh, I think it's more forward, but okay, it's all right. Agree to disagree, I guess. It's going to be belling goal who's going to be scoring the goal. No, 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 no. It's going to be forward and then sniper, you know, sniper. (laughs) (laughs) But anyway, yeah, we go. Who do you think wins Euro 2024? The hard hard thing for today. My mind just turns out to say for today. Oh! Okay. Okay. Uh, now, okay. Let's do some awards, uh, okay. and then uh, go from there. So, who do you think are the dark horses? Who can create like a very big upset if you think of it? Like, get some good team out in the semis, or like not in the semis. I mean, uh, get some good team out and from the group stage and things. They're not technically a dark horse, but the group of death, Croatia. I feel Croatia, it's an aging team, aging squad. They're still in their golden generation. I think they're going to make it pretty far. Especially after losing to Spain, I think they're still going to make it pretty far. Okay. Croatia you didn't have to say we they lost to Spain. Uh, we could have... <laughs> <laughs> could have read, like made it like we recorded earlier, but it's all right. It's all right. Uh, the tricks of the trade and all you don't understand okay, okay. what it takes to be a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm true to the art form. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, and then who do you think gets a golden glove? It's probably the team that wins it, but it should be the team that wins it. But I don't know. I mm, golden glove is difficult. I just think it might be Manuel Neuer who takes it this time. Neuer? Okay. Yeah, I think you don't even have, have them in the finals. Yeah, I think still they're going to have a very strong group okay. performance and they're going to do pretty. They're going to ease through their semi final. Okay. Think it's going to be Manuel Neuer. Who's the golden boot? Who? <laughs> golden boot. Let's be realistic here. I know some people are Ronaldo fans. I have to, I'll tell you my top three contenders. Okay, no give me three contenders. Order. No hmm. particular order. I feel it's Harry Kane, Mbappe, uh, and Cristiano uh, Ronaldo. He has to be in the running without a doubt this time. I mean, I would be happy if Ronaldo makes it. He's been scoring some worldies recently. I, I just don't know if he'll play like that long. If he needs to be as like effective, I guess like he might be in a come in early, leave the second half, or like be that impact guy. Is what yeah, I think. Yeah, at least 70 minutes per match. And yeah, I, think I hope so. I hope so. I, I hope he doesn't say, get injured or anything Ronaldo, like that. Yeah, like I feel Harry Kane and Mbappe and Ronaldo. They're the, mm. they're in the running for the goal okay. Goal. No Lukaku, Lukaku, no Lukaku. <laughs> He's been running for the person who misses the most goals. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay. <laughs> Luka, Luka, hater spotted here. Okay, got it. Got it. We'll see. Uh, okay, then uh, who do you think are, are going to be the lucky people? Like someone just gets in because of like a huge burst of luck or paying the refs or something. Huh? But yeah, like who do you think are those like undeservingly, not undeservingly, I mean, you make your own luck yeah. and stuff, but who do you think go- overachieves from what they are? So I think everyone downplayed Italy this time. So mm. they haven't had good thing of performances coming up to the Euros. So I feel they, they are still going to go pretty far in this tournament. They are still going to reach the quarterfinals. They're in the group of death as well. So They're in the group of death as well. I think to go through that group of death, they're going to have to perform really well. But I think Italy is the one. So they're going to be punching about their weight, you think? Yeah, I feel so, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, who is the unsung hero 
player basically who do you think will go unnoticed but that person is the reason why that team wins the cup or goes to the finals or something yeah who mm-hmm. do you think is the unsung hero of this tournament ah oh, that's that's a tough one i honestly feel it's going to be diego dallo the thing of dallo okay is put in- do you think he's going to start in portugal i think so if i want him to start in portugal okay because the kind of season which manchester united had i think he was one of the person one of the players who played really well yeah so i think diego dallo he's going to be that unsung hero for portugal okay okay all right so all right now let's move it on let's turn the table so mr karthik who do you have in your semi final list for euro 2024 ah <sighs> my semi finalists i mean it's pretty standard i might have like one or two upsets in here like i i went through the entire prediction stuff yep. for me it's going to be germany portugal all right uh, england which are like the they are kind of like the yeah, top 4 or 5 favorites yeah. and obviously there's one more which is belgium i don't have france <laughs> coming in i think belgium oh, will be oh, uh, france oh, oh, oh. <laughs> i think kevin de bruyne comes to the semi final <laughs> Okay, I definitely okay. take Belgium <laughs> upset France and then All get right. to the semi finals. Let us have to comment on this. <laughs> see, we'll see. All right, who do you have winning each of the semi finals? So I am going to pick I am a Ronaldo fan. People know that. <laughs> yeah, so uh <laughs> I think Germany versus uh, Portugal is going to be a tight match. Both are strong. Like yeah. don't get me wrong. I, but I feel Portugal has more bases covered in a way they they've been a team for long they've achieved yeah. some things good for a longer time like in terms of consistency and stuff you know Germany hasn't done pa- like good in the last like 6 7 yeah. years in a way they're like 11th on FIFA rankings or something like that like not yeah. not in the top 5 I'm not yeah. wrong so yeah that's why I I'm kind of going with the consistency factor here like in a tight match you have stars on both ends of the spectrum here you have yeah. Cruz and everyone on that side uh I mean Cruz you have uh, Kai Havertz very clutch player that they have and uh, yeah I mean you still have Florian Wirtz you have Musiala you have really solid players yeah uh, over there you, you have Bernardo Silva here you have Cristiano Ronaldo here you have uh, Jao Cancelo he's an unsung person right now like uh, yeah he's still good uh, he's still your defense good. is good here your attack is good here you have good midfielders as well it's a more versatile like if bernardo can play in the midfield mm-hmm. yao felix can go into the wings and stuff yeah. like that so there's more options i feel in uh, portugal so that's why i'm going for portugal or germany but it's going to be yeah. a tight one i feel yeah okay what about and then on the other game? side we have belgium who's just beat france and uh, hyper energetic reach the semi finals okay. and then lose to england because uh, yeah you they made a miracle i mean they are no it's not a miracle they still have the players and stuff but there's a, like 60% of the team that's not very well known yeah. in a way so they are already punching about their weight when they uh beat france i don't think they can do it twice in a row and it kind of helps england because i think england's biggest nightmare is choking in the important matches <laughs> even while being better like they were better in the semis against uh, uh France in yeah, world cup right they were, they were, uh yeah. like if harry kane had missed that penalty like it could yeah. have been really tight they had a penalty yeah. they had the chance to go because they were pushing 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 right so yeah i mean uh, if england goes as good as they are on paper they mm-hmm. will beat yeah, belgium yeah. and uh, i think that'll be de bruyne's last uh, match Uh, oh, for okay. Belgium probably yeah. or uh, like at least he, he could play the next World Cup in a way but uh, Belgium as a whole I don't think they have a strong team yeah. for the next uh, World Cup at, or like they could they do have players like Doku and stuff but uh, yeah. not a fully established the, the golden generation will be kind of yeah. done is what yeah. I feel yeah, uh, uh, yeah. so my yeah. finalists are Portugal and England alright So who do you have it winning it all? Ah, here I have a heart says mind says situation going on over here. Okay. So my heart says let's go with my mind first. My mind okay. says uh England and uh my heart says Portugal because of Ronaldo everything we've gone uh, grown up watching him yeah. like uh yeah. we've been to madeira as well like you see how like yeah. he's gone from such a small <laughs> area to 
where he is right now i i feel like he needs that fan- messi had his yeah. i feel like ronaldo ne- and fair play to messi he won the world cup yeah. he's gotten mm-hmm. really yeah. uh, like he, he has a really really credible argument for being the goat yeah. uh, for messi i feel ronaldo is one of the goats as well and i feel like he is in recent years he's been disrespected a little bit so mm-hmm. i want him to have that fairy tale ending in a way and for that reason with my heart says mine says i have taken the debate and i feel the winner of euro 2024 is england no i'm joking i'm joking it's portugal it's portugal i want ronaldo to go <laughs> i want ronaldo to win the euros but i do they have the team it's not a big upset in a way they have the team to beat it uh you have really technical players and stuff uh so yeah i i feel portugal has a strong enough team they also have like a lot of emotions around it i think there's a lot of pressure on england and i feel yeah. like that's going to be the like the recurring theme right they have a lot of pressure yeah. english people always criticize their own team all the time i feel like that pressure might lead them to choke again in a way but mm-hmm. yeah and it's not a normal team like portugal is not like portugal yeah, of yester years yeah. they are a good team solid, so solid team, and they have yeah. clutch players as well like you have champions league winners in there you have mr champions league himself over there and stuff right so <laughs> uh yeah i feel uh, yeah it's going to be portugal in my books all right all right so who are your dark horses of the tournament uh dark horses i i think you got it from the uh, semi finals i think belgium is the dark horse here right. uh i feel they have they still have part of that golden generation and they have like really world class players as well who are a little younger mm-hmm. so that's a good blend and i think they can actually punch up off their weight and take out a few uh, really important teams so that's why i have so them going through france team. all right all right so which team do you think are going to be lucky in this tournament like that they would be deserving to win but somehow they just scrape through some of the matches which team do you think is going to be the lucky up? okay who is the real madrid of this euro uh, oh oh uh, euro oh, 2020 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> i feel uh, <laughs> I feel who would be lucky in this thing it's probably I don't know why I'm saying this but I think it's going to be Switzerland. Hmm. Okay. They have an upsettable team they have some players that you kind of know of you have I don't know if Isak is playing I think he's actually missing the Euros but you have Manuel Akanji just a few known players and Switzerland always creates uh, like upsets as well. All right so who do you have Who wins the Golden Glove this year? Um, I think Pickford. Pickford, okay. okay. Yeah, just because England will reach the finals. England have an easier group, uh, and uh, yeah, they have a good defense as well. Like to be honest, like you have Walker over there. Uh, you have some really good Premier League players, and uh, you still have Stones. So that's yeah that's good team. that's why we'll get the gold no. I mean, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a good point yeah so we it's definitely going to be no, picked for no, now no, no. No. i i still think they me. have like good center backs as well like in their reserves they have uh, it's a it's solid team in my opinion and okay. uh, if there is a chance if they make the finals and stuff i think they he'll have the golden glove all right who wins the golden boot this year golden boot It's the tough one. I feel it's going to be Harry Kane. Okay. If they make it to the finals. Okay. 